Clip 4. The Green and White Splash Ewer The tall green and white splash ceramic ewer is located near the back of the tank shipwreck gallery in a standalone glass case. Perhaps the most spectacular single object from the wreck. This ewer is close to what we know today as a pitcher or water jug. It was likely made at the Gongxian Kilns in the Henan province of northern China around the 830s. Its off-white clay surface has a stone-like appearance with splashes of copper green glaze. Just over a meter tall, 104 centimeters to be exact, this tall and slim object would reach the waist of an average male adult when placed on the floor. It has a long neck bulbous central body and a pedestal foot that flares out at the bottom. Its handle is long and curving and much too thin for actually holding the ewer. The ewer's neck is slim enough such that most people should be able to wrap a hand around the neck with a thumb overlapping the fingers. The neck of the ewer is also etched with teardrop shaped leaves. The white bulbous midsection features diamond-shaped motifs with leafy designs at each corner. Incised lines divide the diamond into four sections, each with a floral motif inside. These floral lozenge motifs, as they are called in the art world, were a popular design in Iran at that time. Interestingly, this motif appears on many other objects from the wreck which is a reason scholars think the ship was heading to the Middle East. The pedestal base of the ewer flares out at the bottom. It is patterned with arrowhead-shaped overlapping leaves resembling fish scales. A thin handle with a snake head connects the mouth of the ewer to its round midsection, where liquid would be stored. On the platform beside the ewer is a green glaze stopper shaped like the head of a dragon. The intricate details include horns, sharp eyes, mouth open wide with bared fangs, scales and a curled mane. The dragon stopper fits awkwardly on the narrow mouth of this ewer. Curators at the museum think the stopper was probably not an original part of the vessel. When fitted onto the mouth of the ewer, it blocks the view of the snake's head on the handle. The overall form of the ewer is based on similar objects produced in metal. As evident from the rim surrounding the base and the thinness of the handle. This ceramic ewer would be difficult to hold by its handle, especially if full of liquid, which suggests it was probably meant as a decorative piece. This grand ewer is a combination of Iranian and Chinese design and a magnificent example of a hybrid work of art traveling between two cultures a long time ago.